Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, good morning to you here. Let's look at your morning temperatures. A bit surprising, yeah, with these numbers in the 40s and the 50s here. In fact, some little locations in wind sheltered areas, you're talking about 60 degree temperatures already hitting the central coast this early morning, and we have more warming to go today. In fact, as high pressure continues to build over much of the west coast, we're going to see a few high clouds trying to drift in from, say, Eureka all the way in from the northeastern portion of California and then kind of moving out into Nevada. So you can see a little few clouds if you go up to the Bay Area, possibly even here. Look at this, a nice little area of uh, a low pressure and a nice little ridge of high pressure building in all the way across. So the difference between these two are stirring up a lot of moisture and wind, damaging winds cutting across much of the uh, Mississippi River line, getting into the Midwest, the Ohio River Valley, the Tennessee River Valley, popping in some heavy rainfall, about five to about 10 inches of rainfall almost per day as these areas are continuing to just push that moisture out of the Gulf and right onto uh, most of the, uh, the East Coast. You're going to see temperatures in the 50s some 40s, some 60s mixed in there. Very spring-like conditions going on for the highs today. In fact, it's still with some wintry aspects going on as well. Back to the west we go. We're going to see temperatures holding on to the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Here's how it all plays out. You're going to see high pressure building in closer and closer to the coast. That means offshore winds are going to continue to warm us up as we go or keep our temperatures at least above seasonal averages. The ridge breaks down on Saturday and a cold front will sweep through the area as we go through Sunday, but make no mistake, we'll still be fairly warm. Getting temperatures well above seasonal averages with another couple of cold fronts headed our way as we go into late Sunday. Your temperatures across the state, some 60s, 70s and 80s. Pick your spot. You can't go wrong there, but you are going to have to understand that we are going to see uh, these numbers continue to cool down bit by bit, day by day there. 68 to 87 degrees are expected with sunny conditions, mild warm temperatures, winds out of the northeast going to the northwest, 5 to 20 miles per hour. Up in the Bay Area, 70s and 80s. We'll see Santa Cruz County widespread 80s for you today, getting into those numbers across the board here over into the Santa Clara Valley with 80s widespread getting to 82 in Watsonville, Corlito 77, then you get into Moss Land at 68 degrees but warming to 86 degrees once you get into San Juan Batista. So that should stir up some moderate winds today down through that area. 82 degrees in Salinas to 87 degrees in King City. That'll put the pinnacles just around near 90 degrees today. Carmel Valley, 86 degrees, and then 70s, mostly on the uh, peninsula, getting to 80 degrees for Carmel. Few high uh, clouds passing by tonight as we go, mostly clear skies, 44 to 54 degrees. You'll see your temperatures getting into holding on to the 80s with a few clouds coming in for Friday, Saturday, and then by Sunday, mostly sunny skies. All the way into next week, we're going to see uh, those temperatures still holding on to above seasonal averages. And then Thursday and Friday, we could see a little bit of rainfall still up in the air, unsettled. Look right. at those numbers, though. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. Yes. All right.